Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm driving, well, I'm on a red light, but now I'm driving. Um, but eyes are on the road, so don't worry. Um, I, it, it, today is Sunday, the day before we start school. Uh, my daughter, she's starting BPK, so it's not, you know, a full day of school, but it's Monday through Friday, um, 8.30 to 12. We are so excited. She is so excited. Um, I think she's going to do amazing. For most people, I, I uh, would say that they're sad and, you know, all that they're worried, all this stuff. Not that I'm like, of course I'm going to miss her, but I am just excited for her. I know she's going to do awesome. Um, you know, she can be shy at, for, at first, but, you know, give her two minutes and she's good to go. Um, I think it'll be great for her. I like the school she's at. Um, I like her teacher. I just really think she's going to thrive. So I'm super excited for her to start. Um, and it's really, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about attitude. It's all about the parents' attitude. It's all about the grandparents' attitude and the attitude of your child. Um, if you go into, you know, back to school with like, oh, we have to go school shopping or, oh, I have to spend money or, Oh, we have to get up early. Like the, if you go in with that kind of attitude, your child will 100% um, mirror that, you know, not that I'm saying that if you go in with a good attitude, that automatically means your child will have a good attitude about it. Um, but it definitely helps. So um, that's a random rant. But anyway, so I started this Sunday, beautiful Sunday, um, off we start the morning with making chocolate chip pancakes which I wanted to make anyways to go along with um, having an extra breakfast for the week um, so I went ahead and made an entire box and then just um, put in as a block bag you can grab one and go for me for the kids for my husband whoever so I have I pre-made the egg muffins um, then I'll have the chocolate chip pancakes and then I have like yogurt, um, an option and then I have a cereal option. So we are good to go for breakfast for the, for the week. You know, it's really thought through breakfast wise. Um, for lunch, I'm probably going to pre-make some ham and cheese sandwiches. Um, and so these are the kind of things that you have to think through. I got a healthier, like hot dog option, um, they're like, you know, no hot dog is really healthy for you, but like there are better options you can grab. That is a backup. Um, and so anyways, where I'm going with this is, so we, we did the chocolate chip pancakes this morning. Um, then we went to church and had a really good sermon. Um, I had to go to a baby shower and I love baby showers. Um, I am the type of person that I love I love going to parties in general. Um, I love helping someone else celebrate whatever it is that they're celebrating. I, as, as cheesy as it sounds, I take it as an honor that someone has invited me to come help celebrate something for, for them. You know, they invite you because they want you there. And to me, that means a lot. So, and on top of that, I love baby showers. I love seeing all the gifts and cute decor and all the things. And so that's why I am kid free right now. And I had to return something at TJ Maxx, which I actually ran into my mother-in-law and my daughter. They are shopping, which I just think is the coolest thing. I think that's so sweet. My mother-in-law offered to um, come take my daughter shopping for school, for clothes and whatnot. My mother-in-law is like the best shopper and um, I just think it's sweet. I think it's sweet that someone, you know, family mem family goes out of their way to, you know, do something for my daughter for back to school. Um, my sister-in-law came over and bought her like reusable Ziplocs and nice water bottles and like things like that. Like I just think, I think it's thoughtful and I really, really, um, you know, appreciate that kind of stuff. And you know what? 
I also take it as like a learning lesson, you know, of how much I appreciated that. So when I have, when my nieces and nephews are going to school, like I knew how much I loved that. So I know what to do for them. Um, when I have grandkids, um, you know, I can do little things like this for them because I know how much I appreciate it. And my daughter appreciates it too. So when you see family members doing really cool stuff um, like that, you know, be, th be appreciative, but also take note and, and you can know what to do for the future. Um, and it's crazy to think about grandkids now, but that is something to think about. Um, these kind of memories are huge. And so this is the stuff, especially if you make it like a yearly tradition, it means I think I love tradition. So I'm going on tangents. That's not even what this video is about. <laughs> about. Anyways, I am about to be home. So after the baby shower, I went grocery shopping. I got to go grocery shopping by myself. That never happens. Mostly it could, like I could go grocery shopping when Garrett gets home, my husband. But I just prefer to do it like in the morning and just get it done kind of thing. Um, in the evenings, we're always busy and cooking dinner and doing all that stuff that, I don't know, I guess I could do it like that. I'm just like a, I get the most stuff done in the morning kind of person. And I like to just knock out my to-do list in the morning. But I may start doing it in the evenings now because that was really nice. I was talking to my sister. <clears throat> while I was grocery shopping and I was just like talking to her about how much I enjoyed doing, <clears throat> excuse me, how much I enjoyed doing that. And she's like, what is wrong with you? Now, granted, she doesn't have kids. And I told her in five years, let's talk because you will be saying the same thing. And we both laughed because I'm pretty sure she knows it's true. She was like, it's sad that you like to, like your version of getting away is grocery shopping by yourself. And I'm like, well, I like to grocery shop. There's apps for that now um, where people grocery shop for you. And I like to grocery shop. I enjoy it. I think about meals ahead of time, but I also think about them while I'm at the grocery store, store depending on like what's for sale or, um, you know, whatever. So that's where I'm going with this video. <laughs> is I will be planning my meals out for the week. I kind of had an idea of what I had at home. And so now I have a grocery, um, or I have the backs, back of my car full. Um, and so I wanted to take you guys along as I planned my meals for the week. And I'm also going to be meal prepping tonight. It's 5.30, my daughter's not home. It's just my son and husband. So I'm hoping to go put some comfy clothes on and prep some meals if I have time, but we shall see. Um, anyways, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I unload the groceries and start my meal prepping. So let's go. Okay. So like I've always said, there's a couple things you need to do first. One, bring the groceries in throw them down wherever, just throw it down, okay? Step one. Step two, throw a load of laundry in the washing machine. I have tons of laundry, if you can see on the table, that I have to put away. Probably like at least three loads because I've just been slacking, um, but that will be done tonight. Um, go ahead and throw a load of laundry in the washing machine right now. That way you're multitasking. Step two, put on a comfy outfit, something comfortable, also your tennis shoes. Um, I get so much more done with tennis shoes. Something about feeling like it's a physical activity where I'm like needing to kind of like run around and I have tennis shoes on, I just get more done, I just do. I can't explain it. And then step, that was step three, four, to go ahead and turn the AC down. It's gonna get hot in here. And we're gonna build up sweat. We're getting a lot of stuff done. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, step five, lay out all your groceries. We're gonna think this through. Um, I have my planner right here. I have a couple things from church that I put in here that I have to write out into my schedule for the next um, couple months. I have to write it all out in there. So I will be doing that. I'm also going to be taking a look at everything I bought, double checking I have everything, um, and making my meal plans for the week. 
I will also be cooking tonight's dinner at the same time as well as meal prepping my um, lunches for the week as well. So let's get to it. Um, we've got, I've got a lot to do. I've got a short period of time while my daughter and my daughter's gone. My son is preoccupied with my husband outside. I hear thunder though, so it's only a matter of time before they come inside. So this is my time to get this stuff done. So I'm going to pause the video and I will come back on when I'm in the midst of things when I'm telling you what I am doing. Um, just start with those five steps and you will already feel accomplished. That is the priority. That's the, that's the, we have an alarm anytime someone comes down our driveway. I'm hoping that's just my dog. Probably just is. Okay. All right, let's get to it. One more thing to add. There is six steps. Make sure your dishes and your sink is empty. Um, if you have a dishwasher that it, it is, um, everything that's clean is put away and your dirty dishes are put in if it's full go ahead and run that um, if it's not just go ahead and leave it but you want to start cooking off with an empty sink and a dishwasher where you can put the dirty dishes in it that way you can clean as you go now let's get to it okay y'all update so I have um, whoa, sorry, that was a big spin. <laughs> I have two meats in the oven right now. So I have my chicken for my meal prep, my pork chops for dinner tonight. The meat always takes the longest to cook. So that's the item that you want to start first before anything else. Next I have, uh, it's good just to leave your trash can open because you're going to be, you know, throwing things away, opening packages, all that stuff so much. Um, while you're, while you're unpacking everything, that just go ahead and leave your trash can open. I have another trash pile right here as well that I will take outside. Um, it's just easier, make a pile, add to it. So I have my fridge organized. Not everything is done though, but I have it organized. So I have all my fruit put away, that's simple and easy. Breads put away, easy, condiments, um, etc. I have my first meal item picked out. So I bought a large um, package of chicken. And so half of it I am cooking right now for my meal prep, which are my meals for the week for lunch. I have the other half. I don't even have to worry about freezing it because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the other half of that large chicken um, package for dinner tomorrow. So I just threw that in my um, meat, hold on, let's see. There we go, my defrost bin. This is always the bin I use for the meals um, for the next day. When you defrost your meat, have a bin for it. You won't have to worry about, you know, liquids and all that stuff because if it does get yucky, I just take that out and wash it, super easy. Um, so I have the major things put away, the things that I don't have to touch right now, you know, eggs, milk, all that kind of stuff put that away i have now set up two stations this station which is cheeses um turkey and some tortillas i am going to make ahead some sandwiches for the kids and my husband have that out i have our snack section out these are all the snacks that you buy in bulk um that I am going to separate into Ziploc bags for the next week. Um, that way, one, it saves you money by not having to buy individually um, already wrapped items, you know, like goldfish in the individual bags. You are paying so much money extra for buying it that way. So buy the um, big bags and um, individually wrap them. I trick my kids sometimes and buy like knockoff, like these are penguins, they're knockoff goldfish. I, I get my kids goldfish sometimes, but you know what? When it's crunch time, you get them the knockoff stuff, throw it in a Ziploc bag, they'll never know. They won't even realize that it's like a knockoff goldfish. They'll just think it's a cracker. So, got that going. Um, now I have my items over here set aside. These are the veggies that I need to cut. Um, my zucchini I have to cook for my meal prep, my cucumbers I have to 
um, uh, cut up just for a grab and go. This are my meal prep items, my soybean spaghetti, my brown rice that I need to cook um, for my meal preps. I actually, this time, I went ahead and bought a large bag of brown rice because I compared the price between this and the individual microwave bag rice, and this is just so much cheaper. Um, I'm on a tight budget this week, so I just went with the better option. I can make three full meals out of this where one rice bag, um, <clears throat> excuse me, of the microwave would only do less than one. It, I think it was like less than one meal. Anyways, this, and they also, I um, checked as well, it does have a zipper. So make sure when you do get an item such as like brown rice um, in larger quantities, usually they have an item that has a zipper. Try and go for that. Or you can just dump it into a Ziploc bag, but this is just easier for me. Um, also have some grapes. I will wash these and then individually pluck them um, into a bowl. This makes snacks, um, grab and go for breakfast, all the good things so much easier when they are already picked off and clean. So I will put these all in a bowl, continue on with dinner. I'll be back. Okay, next update, I have my soybean spaghetti cooked and that is, I haven't bought to separate that. Um, I've cut up all the celery, the cucumbers. Um, I'm about to cut up the zucchini and cook that. Um, I have my corn for dinner tonight boiling, my rice for my meal preps I'm about to bring to a boil. The meat is still cooking and it actually looks like it'll be done any minute now. And um, now I am going to do the sandwiches as well as the snacks. That's my next task. So I'll see you all in a minute. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, I never got back to finishing that video yesterday because it was crazy. Um, I was up till almost 10.30, which is not like late, but I meant like for like non-stop going. Um, getting all the food done, everything prepped, all laundry put away, all dishes done. I just like was in the zone. And I just was like, I am not stopping until I finish. So um, that way, you know, when we start off our week back to school, it's just so much easier and it just flows. So now this week, I'm just maintaining what I work so hard for Sunday night. So I wanted to finish off the video though and to show you what, what I did. Um, it's basically, I think it's just pretty much the same, but um, <clears throat> so I have all everything chopped and prepared for the week. So I have like the cucumbers chopped in, in individual things. Um, I have, there's corn and um, what else? There's some, um, what else did I do? See, like it's such a crazy day that I forgot what I did. Oh, that's right, that's leftover zucchini. So I have all my zucchini cooked for my meals, um, that pasta, all the grapes are done. Um, I had the tea finished and then all of this was done. Not only that, but I went through the week, I went through everything that I had as well as my plans for the week because that really is the deciding factor on what you can cook. Um, Tomorrow, I, my daughter has gymnastics after nap time, and then after that, I'm having a girls' night. So, I can't plan for Tuesday night's meal to be some gourmet meal. I need a crock pot meal on Tuesday that I can do earlier in the day. That way, my kids and my husband are fed when I go have a girls' night. Um, I think they're, they're coming here, but either way, I'm not gonna wanna spend that time cooking. So when you meal, like meal plan, plan what meals you're gonna have for the week. You also need your calendar um, because if you have you know, soccer practice one night, well, you can't plan this elaborate meal. Um, and vice versa, the nights that you're home, th those are the debt nights that you can go a little bit more elaborate. Like tonight, I'm home, we have no plans this evening. So I am making a chicken Alfredo bake with the Ritz crackers on top as well as some homemade garlic bread. So that's tonight's meal. That takes not a long time, it's super simple, but it's a little bit more elaborate um, that I want to do right before dinner time. So that's why I planned it for this evening. Um, 
Wednesday night, we're gonna be home. So we're gonna do burgers and french fries because it'll be really easy, um, but just something yummy. My husband can grill it because we'll be home. You know, you get the picture. So where I wanna end this video is when you have a lot to do and your to-do list is a mile long, you can, have, you can do one of two things and both are perfectly fine. Um, but one of two things, you either bust it out. I don't care how tired you are. I don't care what time it is. Just knock it out. Do not sit down until you are done. Um, or pick and, pick and choose your battles, you know? Um, what's bothering you the most? Or what's the most precedent item that needs to get done? Um, if you have a sink full of dishes, you know, that kind of is nasty. So that may be the first item you want to do over laundry that doesn't have to be put away. Um, to me though, I'm almost, the laundry is just as present to me as the dishes because it drives me nuts when I see laundry out that's clean and just has been put away. So, um, you know, but that's really just decide what you want, what you want to do and, you know, go from there. Um, clean as you go. Um, when you meal prep, um, <clears throat> when you grocery shop, clean the fridge as you go. I don't even know where I wanted to start with this video or how I'm ending it, but this is just, you know, I think it's important to see and, and get some motivation to just knock it out and get it done. And um, I am so excited for the school week. I love school. I love that my daughter's starting, even though it's just VPK. I'm just very, very excited. I was a hot mess. I was bawling my eyes out this morning. It kind of hit me by surprise how hard it was for me. And it wasn't the fact that she was going back to school. Um, it wasn't the fact that she was going to be gone. It was just the fact of that, what a milestone this is, that she is growing. So, um, you know, just give your babies an extra hug and get things done. You know, write that list out and knock it out. So I hope you'll have an amazing day. Um, God bless and I will see you guys next time. If you have not yet, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.